baking. So because I'm baking and I get hungry, this is what I fell for. Some mackerel and rice. Welcome to CJ's Kitchen. Okay, you all, so right about now I've been baking and so then I felt like, okay, I want to eat some of my um, Jamaican, something we like to eat in Jamaica, real quick cooking and um, they call it red and white. <laughs> so it's going to be um, tin mackerel, jack tin mackerel in a can and white rice and that's where it gets its name its name from because the mackerel is red because it's in tomato sauce and the white the rice is white I actually made some jasmine rice and so then i'm like you know what let me just do a video which this will be strange um some people don't really like canned food food in a can like tin mackerel and stuff but something that we love back home right so and on my cupboard i have sweet peppers which here it's called bell peppers um it's called bell peppers i got bell peppers i got hot peppers i got onions and tomatoes and so my pot is on the stove. Let me give that a little more heat on there. So you wanna make sure your pot is hot before you put your oil in. Um, and get my oil. And listen, I'm just using vegetable oil, you all. It's not really like I'm on a healthy diet or something like that. I'm just making. So welcome to CJ's Kitchen. And right now I'm doing, I'm about to do some Gaia tin mackerel. Well, you know, in Jamaica we have Grace tin mackerel or Lasco. Lasco is my favorite um, Jap mackerel to use. But I could not get any of those. I went to the store earlier when I felt like eating some tin mackerel and rice. And so I got the Gaia gaia ones i want to make sure my pan is dry and so i put my oil in and if you grew up with your grandmother like i did she tell you make sure your oil is hot before you put anything at all in it right so this is my cut product i have onions bell peppers red and green i got tomatoes and i have some uh -huh. here they call it and said it's hot pepper but back home we would have scotch bonnet which is the best flavor pepper ever so um because i don't want to keep this too long i'm just going to go ahead and put these in here you know what it's not all that hot because if it was hot like when we're home, our pot had to be hot. You'd hear it start stirring like, you know, you could tell that something just hit some hot, hot oil. So this one we're gonna stir for a while and let them, you know, cook a little. So, and they will tell you, you never open your can until you're ready to pour it out because once your can is your can is open you gotta pour that out oh my i hope this is not too loud oh that's gonna be too loud that's not so bad but i just put the exhaust up the exhaust on you all because my eyes start burning a bit so we want to just keep those stirring I 
think because I put the exhaust on it kind of slow my slow the eat down a little bit so let's get that in there because we want to make sure our onions especially our onions is cooked a little at least halfway through before we put our um other stuff in there or macro into the pot so you'll continue to stir that if you don't like your your veggies well cooked or we'd call this seasoning if you don't like it well cooked you can go ahead and pour your stuff in but i actually like mine well done right i like mine cooked I love eating my onions, but I want it cooked. I don't like when it's too raw, you know. Maybe blanch a bit. And back home we would get tomatoes, and when your tomatoes is being fried up, it changes color and gets red in your pot. These tomatoes have no color, I tell you. So that's why you see me have ketchup right here. Because in order to get my red and white, real red and white, I gotta have some ketchup to that. And right about now, I have, um, I do have some banana bread in the oven. That I also have a video for that one. So once you're done watching this video, you can go and check out my banana bread video. I also have video out with Jamaican fruit cake. There's a famous Bailey's bread pudding and it's called Rocky Bailey. I also have a video for that. I have a video for potato pudding. And as the week progresses, I'm going to have different stuff cooking. So, all right. Now I'm going to add my Jack Macro. And these should be the chunky ones, you all. I love the chunky ones. I Because there's nothing much in the... um. Wow, okay. Guy, you did a good job. This sauce looks nice. So this one I'm gonna add here. And <laughs> you shake that out. Back home they call this shake out. They have so many different names for this. Wow, there's two chunks in here. All right, I'm actually gonna use two cans. And girl, you're not so bad at all with the sauce. The sauce is actually really rich. I've never had this one before. And I just saw the middle bone from the mackerel, you all. I love those middle bones. <laughs> I don't know who else is like me that loves to eat the middle bones from my sardine, my mackerel. Here I have a bit of black pepper, optional. If you don't like to use black pepper, I know a lot of men don't like black pepper. So I put a little of that in it. I was about to do some crushed pepper, but I tell you, I can actually smell that pepper I used before. I'm going ahead and I'm adding some vinegar. And the vinegar actually helps to take away that fishy smell, that fishy taste that a lot of us don't. And I think that's why a lot of people don't eat mackerel, don't like to eat mackerel because they don't like that fishy taste. I'm also going to put a couple of spoonful of ketchup in there. I'm going to stir all this in. And I'm going to let this simmer for a while. Oh my goodness, see how that looks? All rich and look good and it smells good too. This actually smells like if you're doing, um, if you've done fried fish, escovitch fish, with your vinegar and peppers. We don't want to crush the mackerel out too much because we want, when we're eating, you can actually taste. And I'll get, let that simmer. I just turned my stove back up. And I'm going to let that simmer for like maybe two or three minutes and then I'll let you see the finished product okay you all so this my
chicken mackerel boiling away. And this is my rice pot over here. I've gone ahead and done some jasmine rice. And I'll put some on my plate. I hope you can all, you can all see this. And if you're like me, you like the, the when the rice gets into the bottom and and get we call it pop bottom back home. But that's my white rice. And I'm moving in for the mackerel, you all. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. And then I'm gonna move in. We normally put it on the rice, but I'm just gonna rest it right there. Ooh. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I get some, I get some of that pepper and onion. And I'll just put that on there. So, this is my baking day. And so, because I'm baking and I get hungry, this is what I fell for. Some mackerel and rice. Welcome to CJ's Kitchen. Have a wonderful day.